Hey everyone, it's Dr. Jess Montalvo, and this is the 5-Minute Brain Bulletin, my video series dedicated to all things relating to brain health. If this is your first time here, welcome. The videos do build week to week, so if you find yourself a little bit lost during this discussion, you may want to go back and look at some of the previous videos on the channel. We're continuing our discussion today on photobiomodulation. Last week, we talked about the fact that light can be beneficial for cognitive decline. And it can be beneficial because it actually changes how the brain cells behave. Specifically, it helps the mitochondria, which are the energy factories in the cell, to make more ATP, the major energy currency. And our cells, especially our brain cells, they need a lot of energy. One of the main problems with cognitive decline is that the cells have low energy. They don't have enough. And this light therapy is a way to actually work on that, in addition to all of the other things that we've talked about with nutrition, lifestyle, and such. And so I wanna talk about just a couple of trials that have helped to prove this concept. Bigger trials are ongoing. Back in 2017, there was a five patient case series that was done using this therapy. And these patients already had moderate to severe Alzheimer's. I think that's an important point because when people are further along in this illness, it's very difficult to make them better. We obviously really want to catch people early. That's where we're going to have the best success. Nonetheless, these people were already further along and they got this light therapy once a week in clinic and then they were getting daily treatments at home. And this went on for a pretty short period of time. It was really only about eight to 12 weeks. And what they saw was that all five people improved. They were doing better with physical and cognitive functioning. They were sleeping better. Disrupted sleep is a pretty big problem uh, with Alzheimer's. They had fewer outbursts all around that they were just doing better. And when they took that therapy away, within four weeks, everybody had gone back to the previous baseline. So they were really showing here that it was the intervention that had made this difference. Following that, there was another small case series done with eight patients. And these people were not as sick. They had mild to moderate Alzheimer's. And what the researchers did was they got their baseline cognitive functioning. They did a test called the mini mental status exam. They also did something called the Alzheimer's disease assessment scale, which looks at a bunch of different types of skills, test them over time. They also did imaging so that they could see that there was decreased blood flow to regions of the brain that are often associated with getting Alzheimer's and regions of the brain were not as connected to each other. So they were already sort of demonstrating before we even began this intervention that there were all these problems. And these people got light therapy in their home three times a week for 12 weeks. And of course, not surprisingly, they all got better. They had improved scores on the mini mental status exam as well as on the Alzheimer's disease assessment scale. Even more exciting, the imaging showed that regions of the brain that were not getting enough blood flow were now getting more blood flow. And the degree of connection between different parts of the brain had improved. That is amazing for a therapy that is completely non-invasive and that you're doing in your home for maybe five minutes a day. Pretty exciting. There's also been some work looking at Parkinson's in a more recent trial back in 2021. They were using these devices and showed that over a period of six months, even to up to a year after they stopped doing the light therapy, that these patients had improved movement, improved coordination, as well as improved memory. So light therapy or photobiomodulation really is at the cusp of I think greatness. There's a lot going on right now with it. And in the next two videos, we're going to talk a little bit about how you might try to bring photobiomodulation into your regimen if you're struggling with memory loss or you want to prevent it. And we're going to talk a little bit about who should really prioritize bringing this in. See you next time.